Eddie Murphy is one of America's funniest and most timeless actors. From hit movies like Coming to America and Daddy Daycare, Eddie Murphy can make us laugh, no matter the situation. In 1976, Murphy began to roll out many different stand-up performances, showing the long list of celebrity impressions he had locked and loaded. In this video, we have compiled his best impressions in and outside his comedy routines. Eddie Murphy's favorite impression to do is of James Brown. We swear he could just be making random noises, but he has it down to science. Watch this hilarious interview with Edwin Newman and probably James Brown. Thank you for being with us tonight, Mr. Brown. Ha! Ah! I think, ha! Look at him! Uh, Mr. Brown, your career has spanned almost three decades, and yet your style has remained intact and constant. That's because ha, I'm a man! Spell a man! M-A-N! But it's not just how he talks. Eddie Murphy can even impersonate James Brown's songs in this next clip. We have a live band performance of James Brown trying to get into a hot tub. In the water, gonna make the pasta. Yeah, I'm going to hot tub! After that bit aired in 1983, Eddie Murphy heard from his manager that Michael Jackson was looking for him. This got Eddie Murphy paranoid. And I'd be at a party and have Michael walk up to me one day and be like this. Can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> yeah, uh, what's your motherfucking problem, man? Well, how come you keep fucking with me then, huh? What's all the motherfucking jokes? You don't like my clothes? No, what, no, what's your motherfucking problem? You know that I'm Michael motherfucking Jackson, I will bust your ass! Eddie Murphy has a habit of pissing off the wrong people, but that doesn't mean he will stop poking bears. Our next impression is of Mike Tyson. Let's hope that he never got mad about it. Yo, you know, but when I'm inside the ring, what I'm trying to do, basically what I'm trying to do when I'm inside the ring is I'm trying to, um, in the, before I get inside the ring, before I get inside the ring, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm your friend, but in the ring, basically what I'm trying to do is punch the bone into the brain and kill the person. Let's just say that Eddie Murphy is a better comedian than he is a cook. But even still, that didn't stop him from making a lasting impression on Tracy Morgan with his ballpark Franks. Went over there, he made me Franks, ballpark Franks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's why I'ma always be cool with Eddie, cause he made me them Franks. <laughs> and when I was young, they used to call me Fat Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that. That's it. He told me when he was young, they used to call him Fat Murphy. Eddie Murphy has been a fan of Elvis since he was younger, but his co-star, Arsenio Hall, claims that they would never hang out if they met. Here's Eddie's hilarious recount of what that would be like. Man, you wouldn't even hang out with Elvis. <laughs> I said, yes, I wish it, man. Elvis would be in the lobby of your house like, so you is Eddie there? <laughs> and I'd be in the room. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, man? He told me to come over. <laughs> oh, I know what's going on. All right. Another childhood hero of Eddie Murphy was Richard Pryor. His mom always used to say that he would impersonate him, even as a kid. But with his own little twist, all his jokes would be about poop. You ever like sometime, right? You get on that toilet, and when you shit, that water splash up on your ass. Don't that make you mad, right? You know what really make me mad is when shit come halfway out your ass, then go back up in that motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Why does shit be teasing your ass, right? Just get the fuck out, right? You know what really bother me is when you be straining for a long time, right? And one little pebble shit come out. Remember when we said that some of his jokes eventually got back to him? Here, Eddie Murphy pissed off the wrong guy, Mr. T. But he said he had an easy way to deal with him if it ever got too heated. I could use the Jedi mind trick on him. <laughs> Mr. T walk up and go, I heard you did some jokes about me. No, you didn't. Maybe I didn't. I'm gonna go beat up the fool that told me them lies. After almost 30 years of not being on a live set, Eddie Murphy returned for the Mark Twain Award. In our last clip, he shows his hilarious Bill Cosby impression. He plays out the scene of Bill hearing that he needed to return his own Mark Twain Award. He should do one show where he just come out and just talk crazy now. <laughs> I would like to talk to <laughs> some of the people who feel 
that I should give back my Jovez. Okay. Your lines, but baby, it's not phasing me, it's cool. Facts. I see them texts you sending me. You know you got them tendencies, and I can be your therapy, it's cool.